Welcome back to MSK TV. Learn multi-digit multiplication, the easy way, foundations of multiplication, math for kids, series 18. These lessons are designed for grades two and three learners, as well as beginners to build confidence and strengthen their multiplication skills. Hello again, dear parents, educators, young learners, and math lovers. Thank you to our subscribers. This is your channel. Are you ready for a new episode on multi-digit multiplication? What we've learned so far. In series number 17, we learned and practiced the most important multiplication tables, 2, 3, 5, and 10. We understood how these tables form the foundation for all future multiplication. Now, in series number 18, we will move forward to learn and practice multi-digit multiplication. Each lesson uses the stacked method, guiding learners step-by-step -step to multiply numbers, carry digits correctly, and add partial products. Lesson Structure Each example is presented step-by-step -step using the stacked method. You will see how to multiply numbers, carry digits, and add partial products for each problem. Learner Outcomes by the end of this series, students will be able to multiply multi-digit numbers confidently using the stacked method. They will learn to carry digits correctly and add partial products. They will also be able to solve larger multiplication problems independently. Two digit times one digit multiplication. Let's see these examples together. Let us calculate 17 times two. To calculate 17 times 2, we use the stacked form. Step 1. Write 17 on top and 2 below it. Step 2. Multiply the 1's place. 7 times 2 equals 14. We write down the 4 in the 1's place and we carry the 1, placing it above the 10's column. Step 3. Multiply the 10's place. 1 times 2 equals 2. Add the 1 we carried and we get 3. So, the final answer is 34. Hence, we write 17 times 2 equals 34. Example 2. Calculate 19 times 5. To calculate 19 times 5, we use the stacked form. Step 1. Write the number 19 on top and the number 5 below it. Step 2. Multiply the ones place. 9 times 5 equals 45. We write down the 5 in the 1's place, and we carry the 4, placing it above the 10's column. Step 3. Multiply the 10's place. 1 times 5 equals 5. Add the 4 we carried, and we get 9. So, the final answer is 95. Hence, we write, 19 times 5 equals 95. Practice time! Now it's your turn. Try solving these problems on your own. What is 68 times 23? What is 71 times 5? Example 3. Calculate 21 times 17. To calculate 21 times 17, we use the stacked form. Step 1. Write the number 21 on top and the number 17 below it. Step 2. Start with the 1's place. Multiply 7 by 21. 7 times 1 equals 7. Write down the 7 in the 1's place. 7 times 2 tens equals 14 tens, which is 140. Write 140 below. So, multiplying 21 by 7 gives 147. Step 3. Now move to the tens place. Multiply 110 by 21. 1 times 21 equals 21. Since we are multiplying by a 10, we write 21 with a 0 at the end, making it 210. Step 4. Add the two results. 147 plus 210 equals 357. So the final answer is 357. Hence we write 21 times 17 equals 357. Example 4. Calculate 47 times 36. To calculate 47 times 36, we use the stacked form. Step 1. Write the number 47 on top and the number 36 below it. Step 2. Begin with the 1's place. Multiply 6 by 47. 6 times 7 equals 42. 
write down the two in the ones place, and carry the four above the tens. Six times four tens equals 24 tens, which is 240. Add the four we carried, giving 244. So multiplying 47 by six gives 282. Step three, now move to the tens place. Multiply three tens by 47. Three times seven equals 21. Write down the one and carry the two. Three times four tens equals 12 tens, which is 120. Add the two we carried, giving 122. Since we are multiplying by a 10, we place a zero at the end, making it 1,410. Step four, add the two results. 282 plus 1,410 equals 1,692. So the final answer is 1,692. Hence, we write 47 times 36 equals 1,692. Practice time, two digit times, two digit. What is 54 times 21? What is 62 times 38? Take your time and use the stacked method. Three digit times, two digit multiplication. Example five, calculate 123 times 35. To calculate 123 times 35, we use the stacked form. Step one, write the number 123 on top and the number 35 below it. Step two, begin with the ones place, multiply five by 123. Five times three equals 15. Write down the five in the ones place and carry the one above the tens. Five times two equals 10. Add the one we carried to get 11. Write down the one and carry the one. Five times one equals five. Add the one we carried to get six. So multiplying 123 by five gives 615. Step three, move to the tens place. Multiply three tens by 123. Three times three equals nine. Write down the nine. Three times two equals six. Write down the six. Three times one equals three. Write down the three. Since we are multiplying by a 10, add a zero at the end, making it 3,690. Step four, add the two results. 615 plus 3,690 equals 4,305. So the final answer is 4,305. Hence, we write 123 times 35 equals 4,305. Homework, three digit times two digit multiplication. Now it's your turn. Solve these problems using the stacked method. Question one, what is 146 times 28? Question two, what is 235 times 42? Question three, what is 178 times 36? Great work. See you next time in series number 19, only on MSK TV. And don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video with your parents, teachers, and friends. Your support helps us bring more fun and inspiring math lessons.